Hey y'all, let's check out Badu Botswana. Hey y'all, so today we're going to be looking around Badu Botswana. This is a beautiful African themed vacation spot. Um, this land is brought to us by Asha Ria. I do hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Asha is a very, 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 very well-known decorator as well as landscaper in Second Life. This land is TP friendly and kid friendly as well. I did see one kid here. So first things first, let's go ahead and do an outfit check. So this was my take on, I guess, like an African safari chic vibe. Nothing too fancy schmancy. Got my little drink. I think we've had this drink before. Got gold accessories today. Nothing, you know, too out of the ordinary. Today, no red bottoms today. We went with a different shoe or a different type of shoe. And so I really like it. A nice little strappy shoe. So let's go ahead and continue. Although there are many things to do on this land, one of the main attractions is this beautiful elephant sanctuary. These elephants are so majestic and beautiful and just such a pleasure to be able to walk around and just be around. Definitely makes you want to stay out of the way, which is one of the things I love about Second Life. This space definitely has a realistic feel to it. Just to be in the midst of these beautiful animals is definitely a treat. I love how they're all kind of doing their own little thing. And there are people here, you guys. There are people here, and I love it, love it, love it. So this land has such a romantic feel to it. Although, um, children do seem to be allowed. I did see a kid here. Be mindful that um, you probably will find more couples than anything here. Just a little FYI. So I don't know if I said it yet, but along with the landmark to this land, I'll also be leaving the website to Asha's um, vacation rentals. There are ample rentals here, but not ample vacancies. So be mindful of that. So I love that they do have a dine-in area that you can come and sit in and they have more than enough space if you want to have the couple experience or if you want to have um, a group of people to come and eat. It's not often that you will come across a land that has this type of vibe to it. It's a very, very romantic and very intimate feeling land. I love how although the houses are close together, they still make sure that you have enough space to do the things that you need to do. They make sure that you still have enough space to be able to feel like you're here by yourself. And I really do like that. There are not many times where I've actually seen a land and the word sexy came to mind. Um, this one, definitely, that was a word that came to mind. This is a very, it's a very sexy land. It's given, it's given sensual. I don't know if it's because it is like, it gives like a couple based vibe to it. I'm not sure, but the essence of this land is definitely sexy. So behind the main restaurant, there is a beautiful um, higher level restaurant that serves as a bit of an observatory. It is delightful, definitely a treat. Lots of liquor options if you're into that. I love the food options. Everything is definitely going to be um, enabled where you can click the food and be able to enjoy it eat with your friends and things like that and have a drink and just chill out and relax it's so beautiful up here it gives you a beautiful view of all parts of the land and i really do like that this is one of the things where i'm where i was talking about how they make it seem so it's open and inviting for multiple people but it also has a very elegant and sophisticated solitude to it that it's it's almost a bit difficult to put into words it's more of a feeling than anything 
So I know I did not mention, I'm not in shared environment um, right now. This is um, one of the different lighting settings that I chose. I felt like when you are in Second Life looking at this, the environment um, settings in Firestorm are gonna be perfect. Before this video, I just felt like it wasn't suitable um, for you to be able to get the full feel of the land in regards to all of the different color options and just an array of different things. So there are many different activities on this land, including paintball and hang gliding and zip lining. So definitely make sure that you check that out. This land is situated on two sims and in order to get to a different part of this land, you are gonna have to go by canoe. I really like how they made it interactive so that you have to ride the canoe to the other side to be able to just explore and see what's over here. So they have these beautiful hippos that are just out in the water, staying cool. Is that an alligator? And an alligator as well lurking around. What's over here? I love the sounds on this land. Everything is so fitting. Also, this seems like another chill spot that you could come to and just kind of hang out. They have some games here. They also have different food options as well as drink options. The sitting spaces are going to be ample here. You definitely will not have an issue finding a place to sit. And they also have a multitude of games for you to choose from. They have these beautiful little lookout spaces that you can just kind of wander around a little bit just to see what you can see. The upper and lower levels seem to mirror one another. They have this beautiful sitting area. This one is um, located on the lower level as well. They have this beautiful seating area. I love these chairs. So do you see why I say like it has a very nice couples vibe to it? Beautiful breakfast setup, beautiful chairs, wonderful lookout. Could you imagine just being here, enjoying breakfast and you get to see all of this wildlife it's absolutely glorious here absolutely glorious so you guys i really enjoyed exploring badu botswana make sure that you check them out for all of your wonderful romantic vacation needs and you can bring your kids along as well so that's it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time